Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here to do yet another unboxing video. Um, the other day during the Boxing Day sales, I headed out to Zing Pop Culture, which is kind of like the pop culture merchandise half of EB Games here in Australia. Um, so I went out there not really intending to buy much, maybe like a Black Series figure or something cool if it was on special. Um, unfortunately not a lot of the stuff that I wanted was actually on sale, but I happened to walk past the Hot Toys case quite a few times. Um, they had Stormtroopers, um, just the standard like Finn in Poe's jacket. Um, they had a few Kotobukiya, kind of Kylo Ren things as well. Um, but amongst all those Hot Toys I found something that I have really wanted for quite a while now. I've been waiting for it to come out and yeah, I kind of dropped a few hundred dollars on it, but I couldn't resist. So I went and picked up the Star Wars Hot Toy of Rey and BB-8. Um, so this is the one that comes with like Rey's goggles. It also comes with the little Jakku bit of sand. Um, and I am so excited. I've definitely wanted a BB-8 Hot Toy. Obviously you can't buy him by himself. Um, I thought about waiting for the like premium format of this, but I'm waiting for the premium format. Kylo Ren and K2SO got announced um, like overnight, so I kind of want that as well. Um, but yeah, I went to pick this up. So this was 488 Australian dollars, um, which is like a dollar or two cheaper, I guess, than it is online, um, which is pretty good for one and a half hot toys. Um, so if you want to see me unbox this beautiful piece of art, then please keep watching. Alright, so first off, it has been out of the box, just Ray and BB-8 and the stand, none of the accessories. Um, she was on display in the store and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But it was the only one, so um, the lady that sold it to me was very gentle and we took a very long time putting her back in the box. Um, so I'll just quickly open it up for you and then we can get all the pieces out. Alright, so once you take the top off, you just get this kind of photo of the hot toy and then once you lift this out, there we go, let's pull that all the way out. Alright, there we go, all in the box here. Um, so I'll just take off the plastic and really just hope that nothing falls out. So this is the second hot toy in the house. We have an Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ben is currently deciding whether or not to sell it. I'm trying to convince him to keep it. Um, and I've also got the sixth scale Dagobah Yoda on the way, but I'm not going to get that for about three or four months because it's not out to the first quarter of 2017. Um, but yeah, I pre-ordered that probably a few months ago now, so I'm desperately waiting for that to come out. Um, and tempted to buy the K2SO, but at the moment, Ray and BB-8 are the only ones that will be staying. Alrighty, a quick look through the box here. We've got five different sets of hands. We've got three in gloves and two just standard hands here at the end. Um, they're all designed to hold something. We've also got a tiny little battery pack here and different accessories for Ray's clothes. Um, we've got a little bag here. Obviously, we have BB-8. Um, BB-8 is 100% magnetized, so when you roll him, his head actually stays on top, just the same as in the movie. Um, we've got the bit that Ray fixes BB-8 with. BB-8's little antennas here to pop in his head. Beautiful Ray, of course. We've got the stand behind her there um, with a little bit of Jakku sand as well. Um, up the side here we have Luke's lightsaber and we've also got Ray's staff. Up here we've got a blaster, her goggles and um, another little accessory. Alright, so I'm just going to get Ray out, pop her on a stand, um, do some close-ups of all of her accessories. There's a fair bit to go through, um, so give me a moment, I'm just going to get her out. Alrighty, I'll give you some close-ups of Ray's accessories as well. So we've got some gloves, obviously she can still hold stuff. More gloves here, still 
Gives her the ability to hold stuff. There's so much detail on these gloves. And last set of gloves. Obviously a bit of a wider grip on this one. And that one's a tighter grip there. Standard set of hands. Tight grip on these ones. And here we've got a looser grip and a full fist. All right, we've also got a full lightsaber here. This is obviously Luke's lightsaber. We've got the blaster here. I'm not actually entirely sure what this one's for. Is it for her knee? Or like her arm? And probably my favorite accessory that comes with Ray are her goggles. You can see that they've got green tinted lenses there. Um, they're elasticated to go around her head. And we've got the little side light there as well. All right, quickly on BB-8. Um, as you can see, if you roll him, his head stays up. Um, and he does actually have interchangeable parts. So whatever I've just done with it. So this bit here, this little bit slips out and you can pop this little bit inside. There we go. So obviously that's where Poe pops the map to Luke Skywalker. Um, it's not the only bit that comes out. So another bit that comes out is this little square here and this goes in there. Um, like as in BB-8 thumbs up. Um, I'm not going to do it now because this it's very hard to get this out but I'm sure you can imagine what it looks like. Now in this little booklet it tells me that the little batteries are meant for BB-8. Um, now unfortunately I don't have my toolbox up here so I can't undo the little screws on the bottom of BB-8. Um, I'm sure you can just imagine what it looks like or if I get time to I'll go downstairs and get that. Um, so I can make him light up. All right, so I've just popped Ray on this shelf temporarily just to give you an idea of what she looks like and how big she is. Obviously those are standard DVD cases behind her and a six inch pop vinyl to her left. All right, starting at Ray's face, so much detail. She's absolutely beautiful. You can see her staff there in the background. I think it's a pretty good look-alike um, for Daisy Ridley. I think the premium format one might look a little bit better, but I'm not paying for that. And as we come down, we've got all the detail. Even this is kind of faded and made to look dirty. That's awesome. And her hands have got quite a good like speckle to them to make it look like a natural color. Got a little belt round here and a little bag to the side. All right, coming down, you can see that the stand is between her legs here. And this is also made to look very used. Coming down into her little boots and her rebellion stand here. Um, and on the front, we have Star Wars BB-8 and Rey. And coming over to BB-8, you can see his little antennas in the back here. Um, he is also looking dirty and like he has been in Jakku for quite a while. Um, you can see all around his body all the discoloration which is so cool. I will eventually make him light up and put in his other interchangeable bits. Here's one of the spots. And how cool is this sand part of the stand? I think that's one of the highlights. I think it just makes it so cool. Instead of just getting two separate figures, um, we've got that there to join them together. All right, so I've just turned Ray around so you can see not only her staff, but you can also see her hair here. Obviously being a sixth scale, not a premium format, she does have quite a few points of articulation. Um, we've got shoulders, elbows down at her hands and her head obviously around her legs, um, her knees and her feet as well. I would absolutely love to go through and put all of the other outfits and clothes on Ray, also BB-8, but I don't have time for that now and also I would be here for a very long time. 
So I think that the six scale BBA and Ray Hot Toy is absolutely amazing and coming in at what, um, $244 each if you want to look at it that way. Ray really is probably about $370 um, and then about $100 for BB-8 which is pretty good. He's pretty detailed and he's got the interchangeable bits and he also lights up and obviously because he's magnetized his head always stays on top the same as the real BB-8. Alright, that's my unboxing of the Ray and BB-8 6 scale Hot Toys figure. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to have kind of my own first hot toy here in the house. Um, Obi-Wan is pretty cool, but I think that Ray is cooler. And obviously Yoda is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, he was cheaper, obviously. I think I only paid about 200 for Yoda. Um, so yeah, hopefully he will come very, very soon. Um, if you have any questions about it, please leave it down below if you want to see... Um, like photos, anything like that of Ray with like her other accessories and other clothes on and I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel for any further unboxing videos and things alike and I will see you next time. Bye!